So wait for a key moment, something you really want. Maybe you're in front of your boss and you're saying, so next year we definitely need three more people on the team. And your boss is like, yes, what? No, too late. <laughs> this is a keynote about communication excellence and its link to business success. Of course, we're all in sales. We might not like the word. We might not like the concept. People look at you. They listen to you and they judge you. I like to share concepts like the brains of influence and the L war because number one, they're instantly usable, but number two, they're so easy to remember long after the event itself. Now, here's the good news. Did you know this? There are six keys to influence and each one of these keys can actually help you get to where you're going. And quite happily for us, the six keys of influence spell out the word brains. The L war is nothing more than the most common sense approach to communication, and it stands for this. In this order, L, listen, W, watch. A, anticipate the needs of the person in front of you, and R, react. And by react, I mean actually start talking. Begin the communication, start the email, pick up the phone. You as communicators need to always broadcast consistency, clarity, and confidence, the three C's of communication within everything you do. All they want to know is how does this end for me? They want the destination, not the journey. My favorite analogy on this is when people go out to Home Depot to buy a drill, they don't want a drill. What they want is a hole in the wall. That's what they want. Oh, hold on. There, that's much better. That's what they're after, destination. I've learned that there are three keys to absolute success. First, it's all about smart storytelling. Then, it's about the ideas that you share. They've got to be practical and relevant specifically to that audience. And finally, there's humor, and lots of it. Hold on, we're in the United States. Let the other guy pass. Well, that's odd, and they go, come over here. And they beat him up. No, I mean, I wish. It's based on our very human emotional need to see social proof. I call it the jealousy effect. And they went, wait, what? You can pay your taxes late? I never knew this. And they wanted some of that benefit, some of that value. It's social proof. So how do we take advantage of this? What really excites me about this content is that every great organization around the world, no matter what the industry or the discipline, they all want to elevate the way their own people connect, communicate, and influence. You meet someone new, you're shaking their hand. It's only been two seconds. You've already forgotten their name. Anyone? Oh my goodness. But most importantly, in my opinion, it's the connections that you make. Because your network is more than just the people who know you. Your network, if I may define it, is the people who know who you are, know what you do, and know how good you are at it. Your unofficial sales team. What really fascinates me is the interplay between the psychology of influence and the power of language. Literally, the words we use, the rhetorical devices, the sentence structure. In his first campaign, he deployed as a rhetorical device something known as the power of three, also known as a tricolon, because it just works. It sounds good to our human ears. We'll reach for it, we'll work for it, we'll fight for it. Three. His audience literally wet themselves. It was embarrassing. <laughs> Do you broadcast the fact that you're a specialist? Be out there, be thought leaders, be seen, be heard. Because when people notice that you have the experience, you've been there, you've seen it, and you've done it, there's trust and there's nothing more powerful than that. It is simply about adjusting what we do to suit the person in front of us. It's about listening, watching, anticipating their needs, and then responding in exactly the right way. Thank you.